Hey YouTube, this is Coffee Source Rex here, and this is the second episode ever, yippee, oh. of the um, Coffee Time little talky thing. If you don't know what this is, um, I basically have Skyrim footage playing, so I record Skyrim footage, and I just talk about like random stuff on my mind, or I have I have a list and everything. Like there's, a, let me read my list actually. Um, Overwatch over popularity, parasocialism, brutal honesty, and video games still being fun. Those are on my list. I already did one of them. Uh, and today, yay, today, uh, we're going to be working on the video game one, because I feel like it's pretty important. And I'm seeing a lot of times nowadays, I kind of get the whole, oh, video games aren't fun anymore. Like, I've, if you've been on YouTube, and you you play games, you're a bit of a gamer nerd emoji, if you know what I mean, but if you play games, you've likely seen a lot of videos in the past, like, let's say two years on how games aren't fun anymore, companies are bad, games are terrible, there's no fun in games, games aren't, like, things aren't the way they were you were anymore, things used to, ah, the way things used to be, nostalgia, I love nostalgia, ah, oh, everything was better in the past, Games now are just complete garbage. No one, no one cares about making good games anymore. Things like that. I've just been seeing like a ton of that, and I think what a lot of it is valid criticism of the gaming industry. That mainly applies to like the big AAA titles. Things like Halo Infinite being like a really big flop because it had like pretty much for the game called Infinite, it had nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then other things like it's like for example the arc controversy I don't even people remember that it's like really recent but I don't think people give a damn anymore but there's just been like a lot of controversies like a cyberpunk when it first released being a half-baked game a lot of games especially with EA publishers Activision like really half-baked games and just games that are formulaic like I've never been a fan of sports games but that's mainly because, to me, I never got into them because how for me like this seemed. Uh, things like that. I'm not a fan of just, like, the same copy-paste game. And n neither are most people. Most people just can't take the repetitiveness of the gaming industry anymore. However, games are still fun. Alright. It's just how you play games that makes them fun. Let's say... You all you do is play shooters like PUBG, Call of Duty, Fortnite, all right, all right. yeah, all those shooter games, um, and God forbid Overwatch, all right. If that's all you're exposed to, eventually you're gonna get like sick of that. You're just gonna have like, well, all these games are the same, or all the all I do is shoot, or th what? What do these games have anymore? Every update's disappointing. Maybe you love every update. But if you don't spice up your gaming life, or in just this can play to real life, if you do the same thing, if you don't branch out, then yeah, things are just gonna stop being fun. I have I have like a full assortment of games like Elder Scrolls. I love Elder Scrolls. However, I can't play this all the time. I get burned out, and that's just because you gotta just keep having your mind doing different things. You can't do one thing for eternity. Like Skyrim, like what I'm playing right now. Skyrim's an amazing game. It's one of the best games in open world that you have available. Things like Breath of the Wild are similar for the open world style, but for me, I prefer Skyrim over Breath of the Wild, but Breath of the Wild is also good. But just two great examples of open world. And I could play them both for like hundreds of hours. Not thousands, though. At least with it, not without breaks. Because, yeah, I'm only human. In, unless you're an AI listening and then I assume you are too there's a limited amount of stuff you can get done in a day and a limited time in a lifetime and even if you're fine like dedicating so much of your life to a certain thing it might get boring after a while it loses its like freshness its edge or maybe you just like not challenge anymore I don't know maybe you're too good at the game maybe the game's too hard it's okay to call it quits when you're too bored. It's also okay to persevere on. 
It's just gaming is fun and gaming is how, what you make it. If you get bored of a game, alright, don't force yourself to play that game. If you're playing a game don't and you don't enjoy it, it's okay to not complete it. You just set it down. It's not that games aren't fun anymore. I think it's the way people playing our games are too focused. Gaming is meant to be a fun hobby. And some people do it as jobs, but not the majority. Gaming's not, you're like, 9 to 5 for most people, I assume. So, if you're doing games, if you're playing games, make sure you're having fun. And if you're playing games and you're just sick of playing games all together and all games are not fun, you can go try new things. Make a new hobby. Things like that. It's overstated. But it works. I tried it. I used to, like, be the worst writer in this school. I got, like, D's. I'm an all-A student, and all I got was D's in English. I was a terrible writer. But then, I made writing a hobby just because I was bored and couldn't do certain things anymore. And now, I'm a fairly strong writer. And I write for fun, and write with my friends. Things like that. And back to gaming. Alright. I've seen a, one of the main points of discussion I see are things like uh, the two big titles like Fortnite and Minecraft and uh, for Fortnite that's really simple um, if you want to have fun in Fortnite play uh, the easiest way to have fun in Fortnite um, for me at least is I like map building I found what I liked I like making maps that's why I like creative games so I always use creative mode to challenge myself to build stuff that might not be for you maybe you like death runs maybe you like just base Fortnite, maybe like save the world. And then if that phone runs out, don't be afraid to turn the game off. Also, with FOMO being like the whole thing, like, oh, I gotta do my challenge, just don't worry about them. In the long run, it's not, it doesn't matter that much. And then next for Minecraft, Minecraft is fun because Minecraft is what you make it. If you have fun on Minecraft, it's because you're allowing yourself to have fun, I feel like. Don't take Minecraft too seriously. I've seen people complain about the ch difficult, it not being like difficult anymore. Like, oh, oh, uh, Bedge make Bedge ruined Minecraft because it ruined the difficulty. Wow. Or Elytra Wings ruined Minecraft because it makes transportation too easy. Or let's say a new feature like a chest in a boat ruins Minecraft. Or like it could be anything. Like the Ender Dragon ruined Minecraft because it forces a player into progression. There are countless things that you can nitpick about Minecraft, and some people like or don't like them. For me personally, I feel like if you want the best way to play Minecraft is to just do what I feel like that day. Don't categorize yourself in, oh, I'm a builder, or I'm a redstoner. You know, try new things in Minecraft if that's what makes you happy. And if it doesn't, just turn off the game. Just turn it off. No one, to my knowledge, and I hope this isn't the case, but no one's forcing you to play games, at least to my knowledge, alright? And if you're not having fun on Minecraft, Fortnite, chess, Mario, Pokemon, music genre you're listening to, if you're not having fun in that anymore, just give it a break and look for something new. And if you can't find anything new, branch out. But what I mean by that, like, how can, if I can't branch out, then how do I branch out? Uh, I, I see the easiest way is just community stuff. Like, you might not be the biggest person on talking or, like, interacting with the community, but it is a way to get yourself out there. Just if you do get into community, make sure it's a safe one. And, uh, yeah. That was my rambling for today. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If not, it's fine. I mainly do this for myself and my friends, so... <laughs> if you're not the main demographic, no offense. Anywho, this is Coffee Story Strike on the Coffee Time Discussion Time, whatever it is. I can't even use words anymore. Anywho, <laughs> this is the end of the video. Goodbye. <laughs>